what is this and this and what are they good for and how accurate are they? I've referenced these digital focus scales before in the context of using them for the zone focusing technique. I did a video about that a while ago, and I also referenced them in my online courses, and it's led some people to wonder, how accurate are these focus scales? Are they close enough? Are they just as accurate as the inscriptions that you'll find on manual lenses? Well, I thought it'd be time to do a fun little experiment to answer these questions. So how I did this experiment, I used both Fujifilm and Nikon cameras because those are the cameras that I use and am most familiar with. And I took these cameras into my studio and I set a fake plant on a stool. And I did one round of tests where this plant was seven feet away, a measured exact seven feet from the focal plane of the camera. And then again at 30 feet, I put a little piece of white gaffers tape on one of these plant leaves. And that was the distance that I measured from so that, you know, that would help me tell whether or not some of the leaves in front of that piece of tape were in focus or the leaves in the back. I used a 70 millimeter focal length for the Nikon Z6 III and a 55 millimeter focal length for the Fujifilm X-T50, both at F2.8 because I wanted to get some shallow depths of field for these so that I could tell exactly where the photos were sharp based on the measured distance. And then I ran three separate tests for each camera at each distance. For the first one, I commanded autofocus on that point, on that fake plant, and then just looked to see what the focus scale on each camera showed. And I compared that to the known distance. For the second test, I set that distance on the camera's focus scale took a picture and then just assessed whether or not that photo was sharp uh, where I wanted it. And then for the third test, I used the focus peak highlights for each camera. And I focused manually until I got the boldest colors around that piece of gaffer's tape and then looked to see what distance the camera was showing me and compared that to the known distance. And before we look at the results, it's worth noting that the Fujifilm focus scale is a fixed scale. It's interpreted by moving the marker and then interpolating the distance that you want somewhere on this scale. The Nikon distance, the one in the camera display in the newer Nikon cameras, older Nikon Z cameras don't show the distance, but the new one is set with a number that's displayed in different increments. It does require a lot more interpolation. Some Nikon lenses also have an LCD display on the lens that looks a lot more similar to the scale in the Fujifilm cameras. So let's start with using autofocus with a distance of seven feet commanding autofocus on that piece of gaffer's tape. The scale on the Fujifilm camera showed just inside of seven feet. If I had a guess, maybe this was around 6.8 feet. And then the scale on the Nikon lens LCD, because it doesn't show the scale in autofocus, the lens did show exactly seven feet and both photos are sharp. At 30 feet, the Fujifilm camera scale was directly under the center of the three in 30, which led me to start to wonder where exactly on this scale is 30 feet. Is it at the beginning of the 30 or what I always thought was the middle of the 30? The Nikon scale on the LCD on the lens, it goes from seven feet to infinity. This is the 24 to 70 f 2.8. The mark when autofocus was set to 30 feet was just inside of infinity, which is about where it should be for a 70 millimeter lens. But again, it's really hard to discern where exactly 30 feet is on the scale when it goes from seven to infinity. But all photos were sharp using autofocus, and that's what matters the most. Now going on to the second experiment, setting the focus scale in the camera to match my measured distance. Setting seven feet with the Fujifilm camera, the photo wasn't quite as sharp as it was when using autofocus, which displayed around 6.8 feet. The picture is a bit sharper behind that seven foot mark, meaning that this would be sharpest if I had set around 6.8. But then as I kind of questioned before, where exactly is seven feet on that scale? Is it at the beginning of the seven or in the middle of the seven? 
If it's at the beginning of the seven, now this starts to make more sense. The Nikon distance using the screen here had to be interpolated between 6.6 .6 and 7.3, but you can see the photo is still quite blurry at that seven foot distance. The lens LCD showed somewhere around seven. In the photo, the picture is sharpest in front of that point, despite 7.3 being displayed on the screen. And then bumping it out to 30 feet, setting 30, uh, what I thought was 30, the middle of 30 in the Fujifilm camera, that photo again is blurry where there's that measured 30 foot distance. You can see it's sharpest about five feet in front of the plant, which is contrary to what I thought earlier about the measurement being made at the beginning of the number. If I had done that, my subject would have been even blurrier. The Nikon photo is quite soft at a set distance of 30 feet. Now I had to interpolate between 25 and 35 on the screen. The scale on the lens is useless for setting 30 feet, as we saw earlier. And even though 35 was displayed on the screen, the photo is actually sharper at actual distances closer to about 25. So it appears that the camera wants to focus closer than the distance that is set on that scale, which is again, hard to interpolate. And then we move on to the third experiment where I'm using focus peaking, starting with a distance of seven feet. The Fujifilm camera shows again at the beginning of seven for seven feet and that photo is sharp. The Nikon camera showed 7.9 feet on the screen scale, and the photo is actually sharpest at a distance behind seven feet. However, when I reviewed the video when I got home, I noticed that the focus peaking was actually boldest at 7.3 feet instead of 7.9 feet. So if I had set 7.3, the photo would be a little bit sharper where I would expect it. However, it's still focusing a little bit behind where that distance is set. Bumping this out now to 30 feet and repeating the experiment, the Fujifilm camera focus peaking was the boldest just at the beginning of the 30, and the Nikon camera was boldest between 35 to 40 feet on that scale, which matches what I found earlier uh, for all of the other experiments that the focus scale actually shows a little bit further than where it's focused. Now I'm not gonna go into the camera and mess around with the AF fine tuning at all because autofocus is still giving me sharp photos. It's just the manual focus scale that's a little bit off. Still when using focus peaking at 30 feet, both photos were sharp. So this was just more of a fun test to see how accurate these scales are. In the Fujifilm camera, it's quite accurate so long as you know that these distances are measured from the beginning of the number and not in the middle of the number. The Nikon cameras are a bit more difficult to work with. That scale on the screen, which again is in the newest cameras like the Z52 and the Z63, it just seems really chunky to work with. It's very difficult to interpolate when that distance will just jump from like 25 feet to 35 feet. You don't really know, you can't guess where 30 is. And you can't do that on the LCD display on the lens either because of the way that LCD display is annotated. But we just have to stop and tell ourselves here that none of this really matters from a practical standpoint. As far as you and I are concerned for how we're going to use that manual focus scale, this accuracy isn't really that important. Because as I mentioned earlier, the whole point of using these focus scales is for zone focusing. You're going to estimate your subject distance with an aperture of around F8 or smaller and a focal length of 50 millimeters or less, knowing that that combination is gonna give you a deep enough depth of field to account for any kind of margin of error for your inability to accurately estimate those distances. That's why you do this at a smaller aperture and a shorter focal length because you know that you can't estimate these distances as accurately as the camera. The limiting factor here is our ability to measure the distance and not trying to interpolate that screen on the camera. No one is photographing a bird far off in the distance with a 400 millimeter lens at a four and saying, oh, that bird, 
I think it's about 122, no, maybe 125 feet. And then, you know, setting that on the lens, you can't do that. And likewise, product photographers are not measuring the distance from their product to the camera and then setting that on their focus scale. There's so many other better ways to focus. However, when you're doing street photography and you want to shoot from the hip, zone focusing is a great way to do this. And your ability to estimate the distance is going to be far less accurate than what the camera is showing you on the screen. And it's also worth noting that I was doing these tests at more telephoto focal lengths and at wide open apertures, just so I could more easily tell where the photo is sharp compared to the actual distances. When you're using the zone focus technique, you're gonna have acceptable sharpness. So I hope you found this kind of a little fun, informative test. If you have any questions or gripes about this, please let us know in the comments. If you wanna check out more about zone focusing, you can reference that other video that I did a while back. And we'll hope to see you again in another video.